Hey Theory 11, my name is Justin Morris, and today we're going to do something a little different. Not just a magic trick, but we're going to do something with science. We're actually going to try to bend a quarter with science. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, if you were to try to bend a quarter, maybe quarters just bend on their own. But they don't. If you were to try to take a quarter and you were to try to put a bend in it with your hands, I mean, it is hard. If you've ever tried, I mean, right now I'm putting, I'm putting quite a bit of pressure on this coin trying to bend it, right? And there is no movement in that coin at all. No matter how hard I press and no matter how hard I try, there is no way that I'm going to be able to put any kind of bend on there. I mean, that is perfectly flat, right? There's nothing. So we have to use a little bit of science, which is why over here I've got a potato. Now you might think, why a potato? Because on a potato that has these eyes, I'll just bend, break off an eye here, this is an eye of a potato. Doesn't really matter what kind of potato, but what happens is if you take the eye of a potato and you rub it on the face of a coin, like this, on both sides, right? You can then take a coin and something, I don't know what it is, something chemically happens, but if you rub the, and you gotta rub it pretty good, rub that, get rid of that eye, you don't need that anymore, but you can take the coin and now that you've rubbed on there, you should be able to, to work it, work it around, turning it, turning it, and just working it a little bit. And then it starts to soften up as you do it. And you should be able to, with any luck, start to get a bit of a bend in that coin kind of right where you were rubbing it. And just like that. Just for a few seconds, that coin will actually become a little bit bendable because you're using science. Or not. 